So what does it all mean for your money and where this rally might go from here? Let's ask Adam Parker. He is Trivariate's CEO and founder with me on set. What did you make of, it's good to see you, by the way. What did you nice make of what you. Bullard said? You know I'm not surprised that they're going to stay hawkish, right? I mean, 7%? That's like uber hawkish. Yeah, Super duper hawkish. Listen, I don't know. We, you know, they have to stay hawkish and they're going to stay hawkish for a while. And, you know, I think what's really interesting is you see what the market's going to do when they actually get dovish. You saw the huge move late last week, uh, positioning, et cetera, et cetera. But I think everyone knows they're going to stay hawkish. And so there's a short term I need to participate. But a medium term, I don't really believe that, you know, they've handled all they're going to handle when it comes to inflation. Yeah, yet. but is the short term even justified? Is getting is positioning more bullish justified right now or not? I don't think so. I think um, you've got some positives and negatives. As we talked about, I still don't know here at thirty nine fifty if the next 10 percent move in the market's up or down. I think I've got some ideas to outperform in either way. And that's mostly what I've been focusing on with people. But honestly, how can anyone say that we have declining earnings, probably an eroding backdrop? I've got a quantitative tightening. I've got a hawkish Fed that I think has got to stay hawkish to really stamp out inflation. Why? You know, I've got some weird stuff happening in financial conditions, crypto, missiles. I mean, I've got a lot of things I'm a little bit worried about. So it doesn't feel like a great time to take risk for me. But so the, ra so the rallies days are numbered. It sounds like you're painting a scenario in which this Listen, doesn't last that very long. I, I think most people I talk to think it's a bit of a triple-breaking putt. Yeah, maybe we get a little more positioning rally on this dovish stuff, but then we're facing like a, mi a medium-term sort of pretty big guide downs in January. Things are slowing. You're starting to see some squishiness in the consumer and other areas. On the other side of that, maybe we can be okay. So I think everyone's playing that triple-breaking putt sort of outlook. My own personal opinion is 4% uh, earnings expectations are the consensus for next year. That's probably a little bit too high. And um, I've got to focus either on cheap cyclicals that can earn their way through that and improve the balance sheet or things that can grow through it and, and try to outperform. We're looking at applied materials right now. It's one of the stocks that has earnings uh, here in overtime. And you obviously see the move higher uh, in a space that has done extraordinarily well of late. Look, this one was up 40% right. in a month, in right. one month. Right. But the stock's up right now. We're going through the numbers, and our reporter's going to come on and give you the, the details exactly what, what the story is uh, here. It looks to me like a, a, a beat, right. at least on the bottom line. And we'll get you know, the specifics coming up. But how about this space, which a lot of people think is too frothy now? Yeah, I think they... The stocks really got hurt in the middle of the year, went down a lot. People know China could be a problem, demand's a problem. On the other hand, there's probably seven or eight companies, and AMAT's one of them, the world can't function without. You need these guys in the medium and long term, and so I think you can be, you have that sort of long-term bullish, short-term worried about an inventory correction issue. Uh, and some of them, you know, you saw it with Lamb a couple weeks ago. They got it down, the stock went up 10% because people feel like, all right, maybe there's more estimable, you know, achievable estimates now, and I kind of like the story in the long term. You think the worst of the concerns in this space is over? I mean, you no. used to be a chip analyst. I, think, I, I like to remind people that yeah. every time you have, yeah. you know, a specific insight into this particular industry. I think one more down revision after this one's probably the base case, and then you have sort of a better setup for the second half of next year, and people trade the stocks three to six months in advance of that.